Okay, there's xenophobic and militaristic. Looks like they've just gone ahead and declared war on us. Oh boy. Why, hello everyone, my name is Conicler the Sixth, and welcome back to episode two of our Solaris Let's Play. We're hopping right back in where we left off in the year 2208 with our little empire that's starting to form. Eh, nothing really has happened since last time. I just picked off right where we were, still waiting on some of these first contacts to Research play out. Concluded. But we did just get some research done. Just some... All we got was a bit of a gene clinic. This helps boost population growth for a consumer consumer goods price, which is quite worthwhile in my opinion. The population boost is something I love to get every time I can. I do want to get this one. I want to get more unity going. That's very useful. So I can get my... So I can start getting some of our traditions going. I want to get some more trees so I can get, get ascension perks. Okay. The uh, interaction with the enemies. Is, or aliens. Don't know for sure they're enemies. Though they have acted pretty hostile thus far. Thus far is going decently well. I got this planet fully colonized now. Excellent. Now that I'm here, I'm going to start on getting this planet up and running. First thing I'm going to do, let's see. Considering it's a science world, I think I'm going to have it be mostly an industrial district world-wise. We will need the consumer goods to be research able to concluded. improve our research by constructing those research labs, which is the whole point of that planet. And we have those. It is vital to just keep on going. Let's see. All right, got the science ship back. It didn't get destroyed, thankfully. Still waiting on some more influence so I can claim some more of these systems. I want to be able to capture this system as fast as possible. It is the gateway to the rest of the galaxy, and I don't want it to be uh, taken from me. Let's see, how, many do, how much do I need? Excellent. Archaeological site is done. And I can start on this outpost. Then I only have to wait until I get 75 more influence, and I can claim here and make sure that I have access to this arm of the galaxy, and whoever's here won't be able to block me off. Now this archaeological site... Hmm. Ah, precursors. Baol precursors. All right. Situation log updated. I don't remember exactly what the Baol ones are. I don't usually... I don't memorize them typically. I usually just let whatever happens happen. I think it's more fun that way, trying to figure out... than memorizing all of the precursor events and figuring it out before it even starts. But it's still Research quite a bit of fun. Concluded. Let's see. We're getting quite a bit of research now. Ah, excellent. We have the robots, which means we can now start building robotic factories, which will give us more workers, which is critical to be able to improve our capacity. Let's see here. Considering I'm planning to expand science for this world, I'm actually going to improve our engineering research. Hostiles. Oh, hostiles? Where? Oof. This planet has... this area has... Uh, Ah, uh, looks like I'm too late. Looks like someone's already claimed here. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Sometimes you get good stuff from this, sometimes you don't. For now, I'm going to grab up this science ship. I don't want to fight things, anyone at the moment, so I'm going to use a, uh, save up immunity a bit more so I can actually use that one and get it exploring. Construction project All right. concluded. Excellent. One more. more station, and we're almost to the point Special I can claim here. Concluded. 
Got the first colony done. So now we can get the next archaeological sites. Generally, these precursor System events keep these precursor events lead from one archaeological site to another. So we have this one. It's probably going to go here and around this area. So we'll see how far it takes us. Should be quite interesting, I think. All right then. Finished exploring as far as we can at the moment before we get anything useful. This area is a dead end. I've got aliens down here. I'm going to need to probably take them out if I'm going to expand enough. I don't need the science ship at the moment, so I'm actually going to delete this one. Okay. Yeah, at the moment I'm just waiting for more resources, resources to pour in. And while I wait, I'm actually going to purchase a few more alloys so that this station can start building up our fleet a bit more. We have 20 naval, naval capacity, so I want to build that up as much as I can, if only to protect against what comes through this gateway here. Additionally, it's going to be vital for opening up the wider galaxy since we do appear to be blocked in. I will see what happens though. About a third of the way to the influence. Okay, uh, one thing I want to do, don't quite have enough here. How long until I get another building spot? Another two population, I think. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to get more food production. Since the Earth has two, no, it doesn't have any jobs available. Next time a population grows there, it will be jobless, and that creates some rather annoyed populations. I'm having it setting on the highest System setting at the moment, just because there's not much that I can do with my fleets or construction ships or science ships with me boxed in like this. So for the moment, that's all I can do. We do have an election. I typically don't worry about these too much. I know I don't, it's not necessarily the greatest of all time strategy, but in general, each, each, each ruler doesn't affect the gameplay of your empire too, too much. So I just let it go. It's not worth the unity in my opinion. We are getting closer to establishing contact with either of these two. Not sure where we're going to be just yet. Ah, got our first communications. They are materialist and fanatical militarists. Hmm. All things considered, I think, where are they? They're on this side, okay. I think we will try to befriend these individuals, so let's get some cooperation. Get, got a bunch of these Initial there. Colonization phase complete. All right. They're currently rivals, unfortunately. Hmm. Looks like their civics are are more hostile in nature, so that probably wasn't the most helpful thing to do. So, I am going to build a spy network in here. This will allow me to gather in, other intel on the uh, on them, see how big their fleets are, etc. Huh, we got a little asteroid coming in. Normally, if this was to hit a planet, it would do a lot of damage, but since it's so close to the station, the station is actually just going to destroy it on its own. And we have a tradition we can get. I'm actually going to do this one. Gives us a few more levels we can get with our scientists. And it allows us to get closer to our first ascension perk. I'm actually going to declare them rivals as well. I'm going to... Yeah, that will give us a bit more influence over time. Which is, again, very useful. Do we have closed borders with them? 
E no, we do not. Okay, we are already. It's already closed. Perfect. <sighs> That's good. I don't want them sneaking in. And our factions have been founded. Perfect. The factions now. Okay, factions give unity now, not influence. No, I still gave it. That, okay, here we go. Yeah, it looks like we can no longer get influence from factions. A little unfortunate, but not too terrible. Oh, I actually missed this. Our... First, let me get this one going. Our second colony has been founded. This one, again, is very, use is very good for industry, so I'm going to get that started. We'll need... There's a lot of consumer goods going forward, so I'm going to get make sure we have those going. Okay. Research concluded. And we have some research. Let's pause the game really quick. Okay, what do we want here? Normally I will keep going down the Voidcraft path, but I'm actually going to go for the planetary build speed. It is very useful when you're trying to get certain buildings up and running. It, allow, it is... In my opinion, vital. Because sometimes the buildings can go excruciatingly slowly, and it's quite useful to get them going. Speaking of which, where is it? Here we go. I'm going to get this robot factory going. We want as much population as we can. That is crucial. And it looks like we finally established, established communications. communications. Okay, there's xenophobic and militaristic. These are it's this guy's. So I am going to... They're going to be hostile towards us no matter what. So I'm going to do this one, which gives us a bit more spy network strength, but also harms our relations. But I don't think that'll be a big issue considering who they are. Yeah, here, there we go. Yeah, there they are. Let's get that spy eye network going. Declare rivalry. No harm in doing so does reduce our intel, I suppose, but it's not a big deal. And yeah, they're purifiers. Which means they're going to be trying to kill us pretty quickly. Alright, these guys I might be able to make friends with over time. We'll see. I'm definitely going to need to build up my fleet a bit more if I'm willing to deal with those fanatical purifiers going to be quite annoying in my opinion. Oh, excellent. Our starbase got finished. So I can actually get trade hubs going. A few more alloys. That will allow me to relocate this station, probably to close something closer to the front lines. Probably this system since I have so I'll have a buffer. Or maybe here just so I can avoid the Piracy between stations. We'll see. Up the speed a little bit. Construction project concluded. Oh, almost, almost forgot. I have enough influence to get some more outposts going. Get that one started. Move you down here. I'm gonna move all my science ships over here for now. No need to have them too close to the front lines at the moment. It's not worthwhile. Research concluded. Okay, one more. Tradition. Okay. We got this one. Ah, uh, that's how we got that uh, tradition. We got that lump sum of unity. Not sure how much that gave us, but we do get more unity overall, which is really nice. Okay, I think we have enough food production for the moment. I'm actually going to go for this component. I need to start upgrading my ships. I definitely need to get those upgraded, because if we go into a firefight, I need to have the best ships I can. And considering our little situation here, we're trapped in this corner, we're almost certainly going to want to take out these guys. Hopefully I can... Make these guys a bit more friendly. Doesn't appear like I'll be able to yet. They do seem to be rather bent against killing us. We are their rivals, so it doesn't make sense. Okay. 
Anything useful here? Not particularly. I can now downgrade. Actually, I'll leave this as a shipyard for now. I can just put that as a proper shipyard. That will allow me to build two ships at a time instead of one. And while I have a good amount of unity, I'm actually going to get an admiral in place. What have we got? Mm, at this point, this isn't as useful because it's too risky to lose ships. I don't think this one's worth it, just because it's too risky to lose these ships. If we lose them, that's it, and we don't have much in terms of static defense to hold them off, so I'm actually going to go for this guy. It's not the best with just lifespan, but hopefully it gets some more traits in place. This allows Research our fleet to be a bit completed. stronger. Not a lot, but a little. Alright, I'm actually, for this one, I'm going to get some improved defenses. Again, looks like we're starting to get, bo we're definitely boxed in here. I need to start building up my fleet as fast as I can. How's our planets doing? Doing well. Can't really get much from them at the moment. Just have to keep on building up. Aside from that, I just can't do too much, unfortunately. Construction do get a bit more research here, which is useful. Okay. Uh, right now my goal is just build up as much as I can. I need to be able, I want to get a full size fleet in place so that I can hopefully take out one or the other of these guys. Again, probably the fanatical purifiers. I don't want them to build up. Oh, speaking of which, looks like they've just gone ahead and declared war on us. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. My fleet isn't completely ready yet, but it is decently-ish prepared. Let's see if we can get enough. These guys don't seem like they'll be... Hmm. Does not seem like it'll be a big issue for these with these guys yet unless they decide to attack. I don't think they will yet. For now, I'm going to try to upgrade this station. Stations at the beginning are very useful. How much do I need? 250? 180. Okay, not too bad. Need 180, so let's sell a few... Bit of, a bit of food. So that I can get that. And upgrade you. I don't anticipate being able to hold this system too long. Shipyard has finished constructing those ships, so I'm going to send my fleet out. Concluded. Hopefully I'll be able to... Hostile IFF signatures detected. Okay, now we have this fleet here. Unfortunately, it is a pretty sizable 14 fleet. Their weapons do appear to be stronger than ours. We have more ships, so it's possible we can get them. Actually, we're about the same. I think with the help of a station, we can get them. We may lose this station. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, hmm. Let's see here. What does this do? This is new. Edict funds. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Not try to use that one, but for now, I'm going to fortify the border. No, not worthwhile. It's too much of a price with unity, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave that be. How long till this one gets upgraded? Eh, we should be okay. And then here we have a hundred power of that station, so I should be okay, I think. My fleet coming in, I should be able to handle anything they throw at me. I'm actually going to sell some more food to build two more starships. Need to make sure I have as much fleet power as possible to take these guys out. Ooh, do I have any policies I can enact? More philosophy... 
diplomatic stance. At the moment I don't need expansionist. So cooperative isn't gonna help me here too much. Uh let's see. I'm gonna go for belligerent, I think. This will be more helpful overall at the moment. Anything else I can do to help? These don't appear to be too useful, unfortunately. I'm just gonna have to send my fleet in and hopefully survive the encounter. Let's see. They did lose one ship. Let me reduce the speed so we can watch this bit better. We did lose that spaceport, unfortunately. I took it, and because they are the fanatical purifiers, they just keep it when they get it. Where are they heading next? Uh oh, they're heading here. This is where I've got the science, these science ships. I'm sending them back this way. Send my fleet to reinforce. And I want this fleet to join this one when it can. Hopefully be able to survive. We'll see though, I just lost my this key place. I can take it back, but it's annoying. Okay. Hostiles. No, I, you, what are you guys doing? Stop. Um, you need to be on passive and go here. These all need to be on passive. Otherwise, they start. They'll go straight into the enemy ships. My fleet is almost there. We've got four, 17 ships here, corvettes. But the enemy also only has corvettes. So hopefully, we can do this without losing this star system. Okay. Construction project concluded. Here we go. My fleet's coming in. I think with the help of my station, my fleet should be able to beat this enemy attack force. Hopefully before they lose the station. Let's see. Not quite. But now they are weakened. And I think I can. Yes, it looks like we are winning. Yes. Where our fleet's able to, to take them out. Perfect. Yes, their ships shall fall, and they've won and they fled. They lost five corvettes. We lost three, so that's a net positive on our part. Perfect. Okay, this one is now in place. I'm going to upgrade these to I think anchorages. A bit too much. Let me add, get it bit more alloys and upgrade this to another anchorage. These anchorages will... Hmm, no, not worthwhile. For now, I'm going to do gun batteries. Yeah, gun batteries, I think, the best way to go. That would allow me to keep a bit more defense where I am. Get my fleet repaired and reinforced with these ships. Then I should be able to retake this star system. Okay, we survived our first encounter. Oh, not a moment too soon. We already lost one system, and purifiers can be nasty if they're not dealt with right away. Okay. I think we'll be alright. We should be okay. No research to gain by checking out their leftover ships, so it seems like we're on a similar technological level. As soon as my fleets can, fleet can get it fully repaired, I'm going to go take back my star system. While I'm here, I'm actually going to sell off some of these. I have positive right now. I don't need consumer goods, so I'm going to up get a couple more ships if I can. Uh, let's sell this one. I want to get at least two more. I want to reinforce this fleet as fast as possible so that Research it can concluded. 
move in and take back as much space as we can. Coil guns, definitely the way to go. Oh. Okay. First colony of the precursors done. So I can now move this guy onto the next one. I think we'll be okay. Let me take back this system. We will reclaim what's rightfully ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're insulting. Me being going against fanatical purifiers and others like that can be frustrating at times because they just go attack mode full all all the time. Let us reclaim our star system. Here we go. And it looks like we should be able to do this with minimal casualties, if any. No ship losses thus far. I think we'll be okay. And excellent. Our system is now back in under our control. I'm going to send my fleet back to get repaired as fast as I can. Well, I think this is a pretty good spot to end this episode. We managed to hold off an enemy invasion, at least for the moment, and next episode we can start pushing in to strike back and take territory away from these purifiers. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye!